Hello, I am Dr. Shri Manth. I am the consultant orthopedic oncosurgeon here at Manipal Cancer Centre at Manipal Hospital, HL Airport Road, Bangalore. So um, today I'd like to take you through another interesting, uh, uh, you know, treatment uh, process where uh, one uh, Master Sakil from uh, West Bengal, who is 12 years old, actually presented to us around three months ago with uh, severe uh, pain and uh, swelling of the left uh, thigh and the knee part and also inability to move for more than a month duration so basically not put weight and that was alarming for the parents so they got him around for a checkup uh, you know we did the routine checkups of x-ray and uh, you know uh, we found out that he apparently had some sort of a tumorish uh, uh, you know suspected uh, growth in the lower part of the left femur so what we did was we did all the additional scans such as MRIs and uh, the biopsies and the PET scan and unfortunately we uh, diagnosed uh, uh, bone cancer which is a very aggressive form of a cancer in children called as an osteosarcoma. Uh, but uh, what was more interesting in the situation was that the cancer had grown to such an extent that it, it was uh, threatening to break apart or basically lead to a fracture. Uh, and uh, as expected, uh, unfortunately, even before we could just start treatment, uh, the boy's uh, bone fractured and he was in severe agony. Uh, but the good uh, point on the other side was that uh, he did not have any spread of the same cancer anywhere else in the body. That means he was non-metastatic. And as protocol, we started him on uh, neoadjuvant uh, chemotherapy. Master Sakil actually went through the chemotherapy without any hiccups. We were encouraged by the signs that uh, he had uh, responded very well to the chemotherapy. Uh, most often, uh, these uh, fractures uh, happening due to the bone cancer spreading, uh, we won't be able to do a limb salvage. That is, we won't be able to save the limb often. Since we saw a very good encouraging sign of response of chemotherapy in Master Sakil. Uh, we sat down with our team, we discussed with all our radiologists and uh, the surgery team and the pathologists and everything and we felt that uh, we could give him uh, a very good uh, chance of uh, salvaging his limb. Uh, and uh, we actually uh, operated on him uh, and uh, it took around uh, 5 hours for us to remove the tumour and we had to remove nearly 24 centimetres of his bone including the fractured part because the tumour had spread all along his bone up to the upper part of the uh, thigh also. <laughs> So we came up with a bit of an innovative solution which is, is more an Indianized and uh, uh, this uh, tumour part which was broken and the extent of the tumour which was spread above was actually removed and reconstructed with a combination of nails, plates and cement which was also I would say uh, a bit economical also. What was more encouraging was that uh, Master Sakil put his foot down from the next day and he walked. Uh, and to see a child who's been bedridden for nearly four months of duration because of uh, the bone cancer and, and the resulting fracture, that actually uh, motivated us to do, do more. And uh, again, uh, just to put it across, this is uh, one of uh, the uh, additional patients which we come across in such aggressive uh, situations where even uh, bone cancers with a fracture provided they respond very well can have a limb salvage and that would definitely go a long way in uh, helping them uh, get uh, the best uh, chance of uh, cure. <laughs> I'd like to close this uh, uh, opportunity by saying that uh, uh, we have the facilities to do such surgeries and uh, you know provided the response to the treatment is available and secondly uh, uh, you know my advice is please do not wait for so long if you have a bone cancer to come down to treatment because having a pathological fracture is not a good sign that means that the bone cancer is pretty aggressive and yes we can still save it in many situations but uh, let us not allow it to go to that extent so come early uh, show you know meet the doctor early get evaluated early and have the best chance of cure because the earlier the stage earlier the uh, the disease the chance of you know cure is very high
Thank you.